Hello everyone and welcome back to the weekly energy forecast. This energy forecast is for August 12th to August 19th. Um, I do apologize for not having one last week. I know that it's something that the newsletter subscribers really look forward to, but with the passing of my little fur baby, um, it's been just energetically hard to um, step fully into this work while I was grieving. So I do appreciate all the amazing messages I received through Instagram and through email. Thank you guys so much um i felt very loved so i really really appreciate it um funny enough <laughs> what spirit was bringing through for me before we kind of like hopped on to this video was around energy and was around like energetics and one of the things that they were really making me aware of um, that people need to hear this week is around really acknowledging at a much deeper level how much the energy that you wake up with every morning spills over into your life um one thing that they were really bringing me around is like how excited for your life are you when you wake up because the energy when you wake up and just reflecting on all the things that you get to do that day whether it's the career of your choice or you know maybe you're homeschooling right now and getting to spend so much more time with your kids or maybe you get to drop off your kids and have a few hours to yourself for the first time in seven months like whatever it is that you have planned for the day they're making me feel very much that if you're not excited about it if you're not feeling incredibly blessed for it it, then you're out of energetic alignment and when we're out of energetic alignment we can't attract all the things that are meant for us because they're not of a vibrational match so spirit really wants us to reflect this week and spend some time alone reflecting on where we're at energetically like with how we're living our lives right now are you excited for it are you dreading some of it just observe it just observe it I feel like this has come up before too, but obviously people just need to hear this if it is repeating something. But they really want us to reflect on how we're showing up in our life. And a lot of that is choice because even if you have a lot going on that's beautiful and full of opportunity, if you're somebody who is so habitually in the negative bias place, then you're not going to be able to lead yourself through energetically to get to a place of true attracting, like moth to the flame. But if you're somebody who has a positive bias or can get yourself at least there and be like you know what maybe I'm not at the job of my dreams right now but guess what I get weekends and evenings to spend quality time with my kids and I'm gonna make the most of that time and so this is just around you know energetic maintenance and energetic um, health and wellness where you really get to choose how you show up in this life and if you are finding that you're waking up not very jazzed or excited about what's ahead you might have some changes to make and so spirits just ask us to observe um, I choose joy joy is one of the guiding principles in my life so when I tune into a decision I'm like will this lead me closer to joy or not so spirits just wanting us to be aware this week more than any other week I think we've had how much our energy has to play with the things that transpire in our life and this doesn't mean that if like you get a parking ticket you attracted it I don't think that but if you go pay that parking ticket and be like I have the privilege today to pay this parking ticket and not go into debt more money will be attracted to you that's how it works it's not about getting the parking ticket it's about the mindset when you go pay it so here's an example i made enough money in my business for the first time this year to have to start charging taxes so during the quarantine i'm calling the canadian government saying i have the complete honor to set up a tax account with you guys today she's like oh that's awesome she's like you must have been doing quite well during quarantine I'm like I have done well and I have the pleasure now of you know contributing taxes now because I've hit that earning threshold so it is just kind of like how you present what's going on for you and so if you are someone who tends to lean towards a negative bias is it yours right is that maybe how your first boyfriend talked or your first husband or a parent um, is it a habit that you kind of picked up are you staying in the negative bias to to be safe to like not put yourself out there enough that you might get hurt is it a protection mechanism spirits wanting us to really live expansive joyous lives and so this is something that they really want to bring through is like where's your energy at how can you start making decisions to pick up the energy um, so that's a little bit more of alignment and here's the thing right when you own your energy and when you own 
um, how you show up in the world and how you move through the world given what's ever given to you that day you have the opportunity to teach others how to do the same and for the mamas out there I received so many messages from you mamas about the September energy forecast how I lead myself through every situation is how my kid is their first impression on how they can lead themselves through that so it's very important that we do this work for our kids right it's like a, there's a saying I'm just trying to be a good ancestor right I just want to be a healthy ancestor and so really doing that work because um, you're you're modeling it for the people around you is like really important um, so what else were they wanting to bring me around this I will say too that I realized really early on in my spiritual business how much energy ties to my success and ties to people attracting. I remember the first instance of this was I was so excited about this idea. I wanted to do the Claire's course, the language of spirit, um, which a lot of you have taken now. I was so excited about it. And no joke, I went into Canva right away and I started doing the presentation even before I socialized it on social media that I was even doing this or opening up the cart so that people could join in. Not a word of a lie. I'm in Canva 9 p.m. I think it was like a Tuesday or something lame. And I had payment after payment after payment come through. I had bookings, bookings, bookings. I had like a $1,300 payment and like three bookings. I think I ended up making almost like $1,000 that evening. And it was interesting for me. I'm like, all I'm doing is creating something in Canva that lights me up and I'm so excited about. And then all of a sudden over here, I haven't even been talking about this and people are just like starting to book. This is what I mean about the moth to the flame. And so, you know, in, in the other side, it's interesting because everything I do sells out. I'm like, I'm very lucky with that. You know, I do have um, still a pretty modest audience size right now, but I feel incredibly blessed for the success I've had this year in my business. And, um, you know, this week being so sad and my energy being so low, I actually ended up having a handful of my um, initiation circle members leave. And I'm not saying they left because I was sad, but I'd retained 100% up until this week for, for months and it just so happened that like with my energy not being able to be where it typically is because I've been grieving um, you know just energetically it's like not resonating with some people now so this is kind of what happens when we ebb and flow and it doesn't mean I'm going to bypass my grief to then get my energy to a place where I'm attracting again it's actually been a good lesson for me to just like let it go just like let it go like you're showing up every single day doing the best you can and I have every opportunity in this day even while I'm grieving, even while I'm brokenhearted, to make decisions to align me as close to spirit as I feel like I can get at this time, which is in the gratitude, love, joy, vibration. And so spirit's really wanting me to share these stories this week around, you know, really understanding where your energy's at and, and also understanding that you have the power to change it and alter it. It's just energy, right? It's just energy and energy is boundless. And so if we really see the potentiality of our lives, it is so completely directly linked to our energetic field. So I wanna know where you're at. Is there something in your life where you wake up and you're kind of dreading? What choices do you have there, right? Maybe it's not like if I'm gonna use career, I'm not saying like quit your job. I'm saying like what I did in the corporate world is, um, you know, I, I did like the company I worked for and I had a great boss and stuff like that, but I, I just felt so out of alignment and so before I would go into the office I would simply whisper a prayer to spirit saying how can I serve today how can I get some joy through service today because I just love to serve I'm a Virgo son that's like all about service and so every time I would whisper that prayer I'd have an opportunity in that workplace to serve somebody and to uplift somebody and so spirit will listen to us every single time and that was me owning my energy yeah I could sit here sulking all day thinking about the what ifs and how my life could be so different if I did XYZ and I wasn't scared of XYZ but instead I'm like I'm here I chose to be here I made a conscious effort to be here and now so I love service how can and I serve and just taking charge of your own energy um, it's really important for you to see how powerful you are too so just take that as a big lesson and just like in summary 
I didn't pull very many cards for this energy forecast today. But um, in summary, you just need to know you're not alone doing this, okay? So it, we feel like we're alone here because for some of us, it's like a bit harder to perceive the world of spirit around us if we're not, you know, if we are in a state of grief or if we are feeling really down, we're just kind of down in our vibration, it will be harder to perceive spirit. But just because you can't perceive them because of whatever you're going through does not mean that they're not there. And it doesn't mean that they are not as close as they have ever been before they are I promise you it's just we need to be in the state of high vibration to be able to perceive them so ask for signs especially if you're overcoming some trauma or drama when it comes to getting your energy in a place that will then put you into a life of alignment just know that you have the world of spirit they're guiding you through it and they are willing and able to help you just call them in and just lean into your trust and faith that they are there okay so i hope this energy forecast helps you this week i hope it uplifts you and inspires you to live a life that is just so fearless and just so expansive because you are worthy of it